Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to display knowledge article in Salesforce Einstein bot. So here in this example, I'm going to use a bot. I'm going to use a Salesforce lightning knowledge article and I'm going to use embedded service chat to fetch knowledge article and then display it uh, for a user. In order to uh, get the knowledge related information, I'm going to ask a few questions from the customer. Based on that, the customer can select the uh, option and uh, that particular selected value will be stored in a variable and that will be used in object search from Einstein bot and then it will fetch that particular knowledge article and then we can display it. So let's see. So <clears throat> this is my uh, sample bot. This is my welcome dialog. I'm displaying a message and then I'm calling a main menu. In the main menu, first I'm asking a question. How can I assist you? And then I have static uh, choices. I have how to check service request status and next talk to an agent. So I am giving two options for the visitors to select. The response will be stored as a text and then I am saving that value, selected value into a variable called initial selection. So this is the custom variable in which I am select, I'm storing the selected option. So once this is selected, it is stored in this initial selection variable. Next, I'm using rules and then I'm checking whether the initial selection is equal to how to check service request status. If it is true, then it will execute these rule actions. So I have two rule actions here. One is I'm setting the initial selection variable value to a variable called knowledge title. So I'm, I, I have another custom variable called knowledge title. I'm storing what was this initially selected variable value and then I'm storing that in knowledge title variable. Next, I am calling how to check service request status dialog. So this is my how to check service request status dialog. Next, Let's say the initial selection status is equal to talk to an agent. Then I am calling a dialog called transfer to agent. I am going to display the knowledge article in my how to check service request. So if the user selects how to check service request status, it will go to this particular rule and then it will call it will set knowledge title variable value and then it will call how to check service request status dialog in the how to check service request status dialog first i'm using object search in the object search i am using the title knowledge title variable value and using that I am searching the knowledge object. So the knowledge title variable value is set here. It is set using the initial selection. So whatever value is selected will be stored in initial selection and also in knowledge title variable. So based on that, I'm doing a knowledge object search. And then fields to return, I am selecting title and summary. Uh, in this uh, demo, I'm going to just display summary alone, but uh, you can first display the title and as well as the summary. So next, once the object search is done, I am displaying all the knowledge article which got uh, retrieved using this object search. Here I am using maximum re results to return as one. I haven't selected two or three. I just wanted only one uh, article to be returned. And I'm displaying using question 
and then I'm using dynamic options here and I'm displaying the knowledge articles here as a dynamic option and it will be displayed as button and then I'm displaying title. So this is the main purpose. I've selected title in the fields to return. So action type I'm selecting from list variable and then for the list variables I'm using knowledge records which is list of object. So whatever knowledge article was retrieved here will be stored in a variable called knowledge records. So this is my custom variable and I'm iterating that variable here in the questions as a dynamic choice and then I'm displaying the title and then I'm displaying that as input. Uh, so this is a backup rule. And uh, one important thing here is if there is only one choice to display, we have to skip the question and auto select the choice. I don't want to display knowledge articles for you to review. This will happen when we have multiple, but here I have made sure I'm returning only one knowledge article. So though I enter any text here, it won't be displayed because I'm using, if there is only one choice to display, skip the question and auto select the choice so that it will directly select the record uh, which was fetched from this object search. Next, I'm storing the automatically selected choice in a variable called knowledge record. So this is also my custom uh, variable. So using this variable, I'm storing the knowledge article which was returned from this object search. And in the next thing, I'm displaying a message with knowledge record summary. So let's preview this. <clears throat> so it is displaying I'm a chatbot which is my welcome dialogue and this is my um, main, uh, main menu and then it is displaying how to check service request status talk to an agent so I'm going to select how to check service request status once I select these actions will be done it will uh, set the value to uh, set the value of initial selection to knowledge title variable and then it will call how to check service st status request so it is it was called and then uh, it did knowledge object search it uh, search based on the search it stored that uh, records in knowledge records uh, from here and after that i'm iterating the knowledge records and then i'm selecting the top one here i'm i'm uh, I have set the limit to one so only one knowledge record will be selected so automatically that selected value is stored in knowledge record and then i am displaying the knowledge summary so this is the summary and this is the knowledge article to check the service request status please do the following and then and, and i have three steps so it is displaying all those three steps So using bot, we can definitely do an object search and then we can uh, uh, select the knowledge article and display it. Um, I have seen uh, admins and developers using flow uh, for this requirement. Uh, since uh, bot has uh, knowledge uh, uh, object search, it is object search feature uh, in which I'm using knowledge uh, object uh, to search. So using that, you can search the knowledge article and then you can return it and then you can display it uh, uh, to the chat visitors. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.